I think that you should always just do, like, make what you want to see. Be mindful that anyone can see what you're doing, so don't be offensive. Don't just make a video, like, bashing on other people's videos or other projects. Um, be consistent, like, weekly, if you have time, daily, because then people can keep up with you. Start showing your friends and family, like, this is what I'm doing. It doesn't mean you have to just go and get a Twitter and a Facebook and be like, everyone watch my stuff. Like, start small and it can grow and make content that is enjoyable for all audiences, but mostly just be consistent. Well, generally, it's hard to say it because I'm guilty of it, but like, try not to be awkward and just be like animated and enthusiastic. Um, that's definitely a do. <laughs> Um, don't, would be, yeah, just don't make something for the point, like, just to make something. You have to make it because you want to, something that you're going to be proud of. Um, I see a lot of channels that I go to and they don't have many subscribers, but I think it's because they want an audience and they're trying to be really, just like vague and general about their audience and they're not really making it for themselves because people aren't interested in watching a video that the person who's making it doesn't even care about. And so that's generally how I feel about that, or YouTubers in general, actually. Um, I don't know about the don'ts, but the do's is like, well, and, and, and here's the thing, I broke all the rules, I, you know, I didn't, I mean, and it's, it's different for me though because I saw God and put a video of it on YouTube, but everyone else, it's work. You just you just gotta work the community. You gotta be friendly. You gotta go out there. And the bottom line is you gotta create content that's interesting and people want to watch. If you don't have that, then you can't do anything. But on top of that, then you gotta go network. You gotta you know show it to other people. And it's it's all just work. It's not how I did it, but I cheated. <laughs> Well, for YouTube creating, do what's fun, uh, do what you like, uh, as far as, uh, and, and, uh, and uh, as far as like commenting on that stuff, uh, be open, uh, don't, don't like, uh, bring people down just because you don't like the things, uh, don't, don't get too involved if you don't care enough. I, I think it's really important to, um, to connect with people, uh, people who like, I'm I'm not that big on I'm not big on YouTube like I'm fa I'm fairly really low but um there are there are people who like say that they love my stuff you know comments on it and everything I think it's really important to uh you know message them back and say thank you so much and like you know really you know have like that, that like, connection I guess so I think that's really important and as far as like commenting on other videos all the time um, I mean I don't know I, I hate when people like troll and say like they like have bad comments and dislike and everything I think that's I don't know rude. I'd say look at it and try to see if it's just purely a spiteful thing or whether there's something constructive you can take from it because a lot of the time there are valid things that people say that you can learn from and sort of get an idea of what people are enjoying about your channel and what they aren't enjoying. It feels like that for me, um, but maybe I'm, I'm not the right person to ask because I have like issues with um, communicating with people. I have social anxiety. So like in real life, it's difficult for me to bond and open up it's easier for me to do that online. So I, I actually use that a lot to have a community and have support and have friends um, that I'm not that good at making outside of, of the YouTube world. So, yeah. Have you met other people? Because I think that might be a problem. I have met lots of people who have the same problem, who use YouTube for just opening up and, and saying things that you're not that comfortable saying because you're not, you know, you're kind of awkward with real people or... So I think it's, it's very common. I'd say do's, I don't know if this is etiquette, but I think it's really important to collaborate and to try to offer your services to people, like, or, or just collaborate with friends, or in my case, on a music channel. So I find it's a really good idea just to try to offer uh, to help as many other people in the community as possible. A, a tip um, that you don't necessarily have to follow is um, do you have a lot of information per second. Uh, people's attention spans are short. Um, uh, cut between pauses and that sort of thing. Um, otherwise, uh, good equipment always helps, but it's not necessarily needed. I mean, these are just uh, things that would might that would give a bigger audience. Uh, there's not really anything that would create a negative audience unless you try to plug um, your channel, which has less quality videos, to a channel that has like really huge quality videos as a video response. Sometimes you'll get negative views because there's a, dis a displacement in quality. You first. 
No, the, not you first. The one aha moment that I've taken away is that we are dreadfully small and <laughs> there's not a really apparent reason why yet, but that's what we're still trying to figure out. So we've asked for input from a couple people. They're doing some homework and looking at our channel to try to figure out. Yeah, we walked up to Freddie Wong and like, can you diagnose why we're not making the viewership that we should? He took our card <laughs> and he said, tweet me later if I forget. Yeah. And um, that's where we're at. We have that was his takeaway. I have a different one. Oh, every People. panel, every panel we've walked into, I've listened to everything they say, and I, I just go down like a checklist. Done that. Done that. Done that. Doing that. That's in progress. And I'm like, they're all checked. What am I missing here? What What are not working for us that everybody else seems to be, you know, hitting home with? So I haven't figured it out yet. I don't know if it's just. We think it's luck. We think there is some level of it falls on the right page at the right minute that the right person happens to be going on the page who has influence, who says, oh, that came up on my newsfeed today. I'm going to tweet that for, you know, 50,000 people. And it's not to say that talent's not required because, like, there's, Absolutely. there's like, first you have to have a great video. You have to clear the bar first. Then on top of that, you have to get that one lucky moment. Because there are great videos all over the internet. I think. We don't know, but. Yeah. <laughs> But that's definitely something I think I'm taking away is that um, you really just have to be somewhat in the right place at the right time, which is the same as the rest of the industry, I think. You really, there are opportunities and you yep. need to be available for opportunities. You need to be capable of grabbing opportunities. But outside of that, you have to keep trying to make opportunities and that's you know all we can do right now. So. My takeaway is we have to collaborate. <laughs> my my takeaway is there is there are channels out there who have probably similar numbers of subscribers to us but they're totally different human beings subscribe to them so if we're similar to another channel you need to work together and those applicable subscriptions are gonna you know pop over to your channel because you're doing the same stuff and you're doing stuff that they love and so if you work together you'll hopefully be able to build a lot more you know a lot more traffic just because you're working with other people who have totally different people on their channel so I don't know that's that's mine